เลยเราจะเลือกไปเลย
equals to 18. Okay, so the smaller number is 18. Questions? Okay, yes, let's Okay, you let x be the smaller number, right? Okay, then it will actually be a very confusing form because you have to go the other way round. So if you let x be the smaller number, then the equation that you will end up forming will be that if that is 2 third x Later. 20 years later, that means that 
each of the angels will plus another 20. Okay? The man will become twice as old as his son. So 20 years later, the man is actually 6x plus 20. And this age itself is two times the age of the son 20 years later. So 20 years later for the son is x plus 20. Two times of that okay, will mean that our equation is being formed this way. Then we expand it. Okay. And solve it as per our usual. Okay, so 4x equals to 20 and x is equals to 20 divided by 4 and x equals to 5. Okay, but then 5 is not stop what we want to find because the question is asking the age of the man when his son was born. 5 is actually the son's age now. Okay, so age when the man's age. When the son was born, this equals to his current age, which is 6x, minus away the son's age that will give us the sorry, 30 minus 5 to make Okay. Questions? Okay. It is not about you trying to follow my steps okay, and copying things down. It's very important that you understand how I actually create that equation. Okay? Because otherwise you're just going to become a photocopying machine. Huh? Okay. And the last one, it says that the sum of half of a number and 49, okay, is two and one quarter times of the number. So we let the number be x. Okay, so following the equation, or the, the sentence, sorry, it says half of the number, so half x, okay, with 49, Upon adding, it is equal to 2 and 1 quarter times of x itself. Okay, so as mentioned, usually I don't write my coefficients as mixed number. Okay, we will write it as an improper number, and in this case, it's 9 over 4x. Okay, so half x plus 49 equals to 9 over 4x. Right? I want us to at least also be aware that half x is the same as x over 2, 9 over 4 x is the same as 9 x over 4. Okay? So if you write the alternative, it is the same thing. Okay? So then proceeding to solve, half x plus 49 equals to 9 over 4 x, we shift all the x over to our side. Okay? So 9 over, 9 over 4 x. Moving to the left will become minus negative 9 over 4x. And this positive 49 over to the right will give us negative 49. Okay. Then on the left, we will get negative 7 over 4x. Okay. So this is a negative number multiplying with x. That means that x equals to negative 49 divided by the negative number. And that will give us 28. And therefore the number is 
actually appearing and want you to actually avoid them, okay, learn from your mistakes so that you don't make the same mistake again on Thursday because remember Thursday is about the day, yeah? Okay, so one of the common mistakes that's made is in question 3F. Okay, I'm just going to use one question to illustrate the mistake that is commonly made. Okay, then after that, um, the rest of the questions will be your own corrections. Okay, so in 3F itself, we are given 3y minus 1 over 4 minus 2y minus 3 over 6. Okay, we know that we have to make the denominators the same first. In choosing our denominators, we always choose the lowest common multiple. Right? And in this case, the lowest common multiple should be 12. But there are a few of you who chooses the lowest uh, the denominator to be 24. Okay? While there is nothing wrong with choosing 24, okay, there will come a problem okay, when you go about simplifying. Right? This may not be a mistake that you make, but I want everyone to pay attention and listen to this. Okay, so that you know how to overcome this problem if you see it during your test or when you're doing it yourself. Okay? So 4 and 6, if you chose 24 as the lowest common, uh, sorry, the denominator itself, okay, that will mean that you're multiplying 6 on both numerator and denominator and multiplying by 4 on both numerator and denominator for the right fraction. Okay, and then you combine it into one single fraction, you will write as 6, 3y minus 1, minus 4, 2y minus 3. Okay, and then we go about expanding it on the numerator, you will get 18y minus 6 minus 8y plus 12. Okay, over 24. Okay, one problem that is commonly made okay, recurringly in many of your homework is that when you're expanding this negative and bring it in, you forget that it should become a positive sign over here because minus minus become plus. I kept on doing the same mistake highlighting in your homework, so please do take a look at it and uh, correct the problem. Okay, and then we simplify 18y minus 8y, we get 10y. Minus 6 plus 12, we get plus 6 over 24. Now, from the start to here, no problem at all. They are all uh, perfectly fine, they are all correct. However, it is not simplified. It is not in its simplest form. It is just like you leave your answer as 2 over 4 or 3 over 6 and not simplifying to half for me. Okay? Why do I say that and how do we overcome that problem here? Okay. Observe that in the numerator we have 10y plus 6. Okay. It can be factor, uh, 2 can be factorized out such that we get 2 times 5y plus 3. Okay. And then for 24, 24 is actually also divisible by 2. Okay. But you may want to leave it as 24. Now we simplify the fraction. I can get 1 and 12 over here. Okay. And then I will get 5y plus 3 over 12, and that should be my answer. Okay? Alright, so learn how to simplify your fractions. Okay? So that's one uh, common problem. The other problem is, okay, for example, if I give you. Okay, let's see. Okay, 3D. Okay, 3D we are given 3x over 8 minus 1 quarter x plus 2. Most of you can tell me that it is 3x over 8 minus x plus 2 over 4. Okay, then after that you want to make it into same denominator and you choose 8 as the denominator, which is wonderful. Okay, over here on the numerator you times 2. Okay, many of you, alright, choose not to do this 2 bracket x plus 2. You like to actually instead give me 3x over 8 minus 2x plus 4 over 8. You immediately times 2 already. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Okay? If you don't want to show me this step, you want to give me this step, that's fine. But there is always a problem that arises out of that. That's why I never ever do this kind of steps at all. Okay, I don't like to skip steps. The problem that arises out of this is that in your next step, you give me 8, 3x minus 2x plus 4. And this is 
not correct. Okay? Because you must remember that with this minus sign outside the fraction here, bringing it into the plus 4, this should become a minus. It could have been avoided if you followed what I would usually do, combine it into a single fraction, 3x minus 2x plus 2, so that you can remember that this minus 2 needs to be brought in such that we get minus 2x minus 4 over here. Okay, and then we will get x minus 4 over here. Right? So that is the problem that is commonly recurring okay, in all your work. Questions? Okay, so please correct that mistake that is uh, keep, on, uh, keep on showing up in your work. Huh? Okay, although your final answer may be correct, okay, but in between it's not correct, still no marks one more. Okay, so uh, please look into that. Okay, so please do your own corrections for exercise uh, 4C. Now I want to go through your class test. Okay, we write 
3 over 5 so that I can easily see that it is actually same thing as 90x over 5. That is the reason in terms of presentation. Okay, we don't write things this way, we prefer to write things like that. Okay, so coefficients, just use a calculator, change it into an improper. Okay?
go and revisit. Okay, if you're still unclear, please do uh, look for me if you're after school or something. Right? Question 3. Subtract this thing from this thing. Most of you can tell me the, code, the correct structure, which is that we start from 7yx plus 5 minus away xy. Okay? Minus away 6xy minus 11. Most of you can give me this. But writing it like that is not correct. Okay, why? Because I already mentioned this is a group of items okay, that we are subtracting from. And whatever we are subtracting from is also a group of things. I must put brackets around it. If without the brackets, the subsequent marks are all uh, wrong. Okay? So that's why you lose all those marks. Alright? Next step, we open up the brackets. And by opening it up, it doesn't mean that we just happily remove them. Okay? There is a minus sign over here. It is actually a minus 1. We expand it. I will get minus 6xy. Minus and minus gives us plus. I will get plus 11. Okay? So this is the problem that most of you need. Then we simplify. I want us to realize that y, x and x, y are the same thing. Some of you don't realize that. Okay. And then we simplify 7 minus away 1 minus away 6 will give us nothing. Okay. So all this minus away we get 0. 5 plus 11 is 16. Therefore my answer is just 16. Okay. Okay, next question 5A. 
okay? Because this is a three marks question of the all. 7A. Okay, we have 17 minus 3x equals 8. Alright, most of you can actually solve equations very well already. Okay, so we leave the algebra behind minus 3x. Number shift over 8 minus 17. Okay, I want us to see that I always do things one line after the other. I don't separate out my calculation. So I really don't encourage that you separate out the calculation. You give me 8 minus 7 equals to negative 4. Does it give us negative 9? Okay, and then after that you combine them to 8. I don't want us to do that. Because when you separate things up and you recombine, sometimes it can be wrong. Okay, so negative 3x equals to negative 9, x equals to negative 9, but by negative 3 equals to 3. Okay, so that's answer for 7 a Yes. 